This news update is brought to you by. This is the Noon Barbados Today update for Wednesday, August 20th, 2014. I'm Don Paris. Good afternoon. Lawmen are today investigating last night's shooting death of Mark Lee Williams, the island's 19th murder this year. According to police, the 40-year-old Christchurch man was shot multiple times by an unknown assailant as he was walking near his McLean Gap Silver Sands home around 9 o'clock. Williams was transported by ambulance to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Meantime, Police Public Relations Officer Inspector David Welch says police continue to vigorously investigate the killing of 20-year-old Romario Yard. Yard died from a gunshot wound on August 11th, but his killer is still at large. The young man was dropped off by the QEH by unidentified men. Investigations also continue into the wounding and alleged attempted suicide, which took place early this month in St. Joseph. Margaret Christopher, who received two slashes to her face by the father of her six-year-old son, has been discharged from hospital, but her attacker remains warded at the QEH under police guard. The Barbados Secondary Teachers Union is awaiting promised talks with the Ministry of Education to discuss what it calls pressing issues ahead of the start of the new school year. President Marianne Redmond tells Barbados Today the usual quarterly discussions between the two sides is yet to take place and they're particularly anxious for a meeting to discuss the status of teachers. She says those issues include appointments, the status of temporary and part-time teachers, as well as matters of an industrial relations nature. In other news, insurance policies are taking a hit from the economic climate. Chief Executive Officer of Massey United Insurance, Howard Hall, says some people have been unable to keep up with paying their premiums. But he says with new initiatives on stream, Massey Insurance is seeing a turnaround even as the market becomes more competitive. Yeah, it, it, it is a uh, stressful economic environment. So yes, some more customers will be experiencing issues. And the market is getting softer, the prices are reducing in some areas. Um, but you see, one of the things to recognize is that we offer what we call DMS excellent security. And um, we offer a good level of security for the market. And we're proud of that. So we're not seeing the dips that could happen, but we're seeing some dips. Right, in prices and so on. Uh, on the positive side, we're seeing by the bringing together of all these initiatives, we're seeing some growth, you know, some growth in the customer base, new customers, and so on, which is a positive side for us. In sports now, it's official. Otis Gibson is no longer the head coach of the West Indies cricket team. According to a WICB statement, the two sides mutually agree to part ways with immediate effect. Gibson has worked with the regional side for the last four years, with the Windies winning 29 tests and 36 one-day internationals under his tenure. The WICB has appointed team manager Richie Richardson to work with the team in the interim. Gibson's departure comes as the Windies begin a three-match limited overs international series against Bangladesh, now underway in Grenada. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Power. 
We continue with news from the region now. Extreme drought conditions in Jamaica could lead to unusual measures being implemented at schools when the new term opens. While arrangements have been made to deliver water to schools by truck, Education Minister Ronald Twaits says parents may also be called upon to give their children water to drink and possibly flush toilets. He admits that while this might inconvenience some parents, the student's education is the first priority and it should not be just suspended. The minister is getting support from the president of the National Parent Teacher Association of Jamaica, Everton Hannum, who says parents must play a role in minimizing the impact of the water shortage on their children. And on the international scene, disaster officials in a western Japanese city are at this hour combing through mud and debris, searching for survivors following several landslides that were triggered by heavy rains. At least 27 people have been killed in the landslides, including a two-year-old boy who was buried alive. Another 10 people are reportedly missing after the landslides swallowed up homes. And that's where we end our noon Barbados Today update. We'll be back again at 6 this evening. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper and our email updates, and like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or on Screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Don Paris. Have a productive and wonderful day. This news update is brought to you by...